Welcome back. We have fundamental or built-in data types in Python. Data types are classifications of data items. So we have about 15 built-in data types here. The first three can be considered as numeric data types. That is the int stands for integers. And the second one is float. That are floating point numbers, numbers that have decimal places and the first one is whole numbers whether positive or negative and the third one is for complex numbers the fourth one up to the sixth one can be considered as sequence data types we have strings we have lists and then tuple the seventh one is dictionary we'll be talking about them soon and then the eighth one is boolean data types that is true or false the ninth one is set. The tenth one is none. It actually does nothing. <laughs> now, the eleventh one up to the fourteenth one, we won't talk about it much. Unless you have strong background in computer science or mathematics, you can look it up. But we will look it up in the advanced topics that we will do. The range you'll be using is sometimes is considered as function, sometimes it's considered as data type, so we'll be looking at it. In Python, everything is an object that is everything belongs to a particular class so when we want python to perform an operation on some data the data should be classified under one of these or we create our own for our data if the data cannot be best represented by the built-in data type let's say we want to calculate the average age of students in a certain school so we will ask ourselves how can we store the ages of the students what type of data are the ages well first of all ages are numbers so you will look at the numeric data types but also you ask yourself am i storing only one age no you'll be storing a lot of ages ages of a number of students in a particular school so you look at these data types which one can i store more than one item a lot of ages in there and then so if you can't find the one that best fits the type of data that you have python has given us something called classes that will let you create your own data type and then use it so we will get there so basically these are the built-in data types that we use but if we don't think it's enough for us we create our own using these basic ones and then we create our own data types. We will be taking it one by one. So see you in the next video where we will start with the numeric data types that is int, float, and complex numbers. And then we build on it. One thing you should know about Python is you learn the smaller, smaller things and then you use it to build greater things. So you might think you are not doing anything. But actually, this is all about Python. Everything looks simple. You will learn the simple, simple things. Then, boom get to the greater part so stick with me as we journey along python programming bye bye see you in the next video